I'm going to talk about a specific reaction. We're going to talk about the hydration of aldehydes and ketones. So we're going to use an aldehyde, and we're going to do it in water because it's a hydration reaction under basic conditions. So our nucleophile is going to be a hydroxide uh, anion. It will attack the carbonyl carbon. We promote our pi electrons onto the oxygen. We look, we formed a bond between that oxygen and that carbon, and we broke a bond between this carbon and this oxygen and promoted the electrons up top. So our species is now a negatively charged alkoxide with an OH bonded to it, and it was an aldehyde. We're doing this in water, so there's lots of water around. That alkoxide can just pull a proton off of the water and form our final product, which is the hydrated aldehyde. We may call this a geminal diol because both hydroxides of the alcohol, the diol, are on the same carbon. But we've also reformed our hydroxide. So we only need to use a catalytic amount of hydroxide. And don't forget we had water because it's in water. And the water was used over here to pull the proton off to complete the reaction and regenerate the hydroxide. So our hydroxide is only needed in catalytic amount. We can also do this reaction under acidic conditions. It's going to be slightly different because we're under acidic conditions, obviously. But the first step in the reaction now, under acidic conditions, the first thing you should do is protonate something. You have to decide what to protonate. Our acid, don't know what it is, but it's in water, so it's going to exist as H3O+. The most basic uh, part of this molecule is the oxygen. We're just going to pull a proton off of the H3O+, and protonate our carbonyl compound. We formed a molecule of water. We have lots of molecules in water because that's our solvent for doing a hydration reaction. This is now an activated carbonyl. It can be attacked by even weak nucleophiles. Water is a weak nucleophile. It's going to attack the carbonyl carbon. And we're going to promote our electrons up onto the oxygen, and that will neutralize that positive charge. But don't forget, if we have a positive charge, we're going to have to have a positive charge over here as well. Hopefully we look at this molecule we need to put our formal charge on, and we're just going to put our formal charge on this oxygen. We're in water. We have lots of water to complete this reaction. All we have to do pull off one of these protons, a pair of electrons will abstract that proton. The electrons in the hydrogen-oxygen bond are going to get promoted up onto the oxygen to neutralize that charge. We're going to form our final product, the hydrated aldehyde. And we've reformed Hydronium, H3O plus. So again, only needed in a catalytic amount.